Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. Doing GMA Friday for today's second video. So, as well as on a Friday, we're having a look at the weather for the month ahead with Japanese and CFS VT models. And I shall get some of that for you in a moment. <laughs> Just say that first video today was 6 a.m. upload. Uh, we've got our 10 to 14 day, actually, by the way, coming up to you <laughs> later on. And uh, we're going to be live streaming at 10.30 tonight. We shall have our Friday night live stream at uh, half 10. So I shall see you live for that uh, a little bit later on. Uh, please like, share and subscribe on videos and live streams. All that good stuff. Thank you so very much, everybody, for doing that. I hope you're having a lovely Friday as well. Wow, wow, wow. Right, OK, let's start off with the... Uh, uh, week one, 500 millibar height anomaly from the Arctic and North Pole view down from the JMA. Here we go, then. Uh, this is the uh, North Pole just here. We've got the wider Arctic circle around there. Then, of course, got the mid latitudes through there. Uh, so, blue is extrapolating to below average heights, which is low pressure, yellow, orange, and red to above average heights, which is high pressure. These are broken down into week periods. And the first week period will take us from uh, today, the temporary to the 17th. Of the March, goodness gracious me. So, the coming week we'll have low pressure in the Atlantic and still low pressure left over across Scandinavia as well. So, still a legacy of some colder air coming into the north. Weather. The low pressure in the Atlantic will also be turning wind into more of an Atlantic westerly at times. High pressure down towards Spain and Portugal, and a little bit of high pressure blocking still left over Greenland, but more towards the Canadian side. Of Greenland in the weekend, so just like a bit of a recovery type week in uh, the pattern and in the temperature for the extensive blocking that we started off with in March. Now, week two will be the 17th, 24th of March, still looking unsettled, plenty of low pressure still in from off the Atlantic as well, so uh, another unsettled week to come. Um, probably a little bit more westerly. We're starting to set high pressure over into Canada now, so that probably brings the cold air down into North America, if anything. But we, I think, are a little bit more Atlantic based with the air mass. And then week three and four will be the 24th, March 7th of April. So just a bit, bit of a hint of higher pressure coming back towards Greenland again, actually. Close to Greenland and Iceland, get some yellow uh, up here, and that's above average heights, of course, with low pressure still in the Atlantic underneath that. Uh, we might start pinching up, bringing some colder air from the north and the east end at some point. Now, that's a two-weekly anomaly, and not especially strong. So I suspect one of the weeks could be skewing that. Maybe week four, you know, the first week of April, might see blocking strengthening or something could be week three of course as well um but you know just a bit of a hint there but maybe the blocking begins to start re strengthening towards greenland and iceland area at some point at the end of march and into uh, the beginning of april anyway let's have a look at the time and mid latitude view so we can't see the arctic north pole greenland scandinavia all those areas are off the chart up here the uk island in the top right hand corner of the chart as you're looking at it so in week one still bring the low pressure in from off the Atlantic, and uh, that means the temperature anomaly is still cold and average in the north, but mild and average down in the south, actually, in the coming week. Not sure about that, um, to be honest, but there we go. It's going for cold and average, Scots and mild and average down across the more southern parts of the country there. And uh, precipitation-wise, looks wetter than normal uh, in the weekend. So another unsettled week to come for Ireland and also for the UK. Now, week two will be the uh, term, will be 17th, 24th of March. And uh, this one, again, looking quite unsettled. Low pressures in of the Atlantic uh, once again. Uh, temperature is about average, no better than that. Really just a little bit above, maybe, but not a particularly big deviation near normal and uh, precipitation wise again it's another wet week so that seals us into a properly unsettled march and uh, then week three and four possibly just in a little bit of higher pressure starting to appear again up towards greenland and uh iceland you can envisage red beat up there with low pressure in the middle of the Atlantic. Temperature anomaly, again, it's no better than about average, to be honest. There's no sign of anything particularly cold coming back um, with JMA. And uh, precipitation wise, actually going a little bit drier. So a bit on the unsettled side, but starting to dry out a bit, I think, in weeks three and four. Okay, let's start going through to the CFSV2 then. 
So, I, again, these are 500 millibar high tolerance, and they're breaking down into week periods. The first week period takes us from the 10th through the 16th of March. The coming week has low pressure over northern Europe. Winds coming in from a northerly direction. Also got low pressure out of the Atlantic. High pressure also can take Canadian side of Greenland and down towards Spain. Perfect agreement between the two models in the week ahead. Now, week two, already seen it, haven't you? Going to be the 17th to the 23rd of March with low pressure... Uh, again, through uh, western parts of Europe. So, a bit of high pressure on the southern tip of Greenland. Certainly won't be mild with that. And, you know, it could actually still be quite chilly, if not quite cold, I think, to be honest. With that chop low pressure, high pressure over eastern Europe, by the way, brings very mild or quite warm air up the eastern side of uh, Europe. Now, week three is going to be the 24th to the 30th of March. Low pressure then towards uh, Iceland and Scandinavia, but high pressure starting to build to the southwest. Into the last week of March, which is like the arrival of spring, proper spring begins to get going there for the UK and for Ireland um, as winds go into much more of a southwest direction. That's a much warmer wind direction. And uh, that carries on into week four, actually. It's the 31st of March to 6th of April, high pressure just to our southwest, ridging up from the southwest, bringing the wind from the west southwest direction. And that looks very pleasant indeed. Spring commencing as we get towards the latter stages of uh, March. Temperature normally for week one from the 10th to 16th of March. Next week is colder than average. That looks actually more like what I'd expect from the 500 millibar high time compared to what the JMN is showing, which is mild and average in the south, colder in the north. I reckon it will still be quite cold in uh, the week ahead. Week two also looks quite cold. It's the 17th to 23rd of March. So, you know, it's not quite as cold, but still below average there with the temperature anomaly. It's not till week three that the temperature begins to go. My own average is the 24th March to the 30th, going a little bit above average with temperature anomalies there. And uh, then week four is also milder than, than normal. It's 31st March, 6th of April, with above average temperatures as well. Uh, then, so spring gets going at the end of March. It's waiting for it. Another couple of weeks and spring arrives. Um, precipitation anomalies for week one, 10th, 16th March, above average and cool, quite cold and wet uh, week to come. And uh, week two is also rather wetter than normal as well. So, a couple of grim weeks to get through before any sort of spring. If the uh, CFS is right, it's 17th, 10th, 3rd of March, that one also above average. But week four. Which, or which I should say, which is the 24th to the 30th of March, is a bit wetter to the north, near and all, the south. And then week four, just seems it's starting to go a little bit drier, maybe, down towards uh, Spain, Portugal. And that's as the Azores high is strengthening. The signal is weakening, but I think the trend is to uh, drier and, uh, of course, milder weather as we come into the end of March. OK, so I think between the two miles, not reasonably good agreement. Next couple of weeks, still quite cold at times, but well, not as cold as it has been, but still quite chilly in the next week or two, and rather unsettled with further rain um, to come, and, you know, possibly still some snow times, especially for more northern regions with that. Uh, it's towards the last stages of March and into early April that we might start seeing a little bit of spring uh, getting going. Uh, remember just a snapshot of what these two miles are showing. They could look completely different when we look at them again. Next Friday, any forecast beyond five, seven days comes with large pinches of salt attached. That's how they're looking today. We'll be back later on with your, or shortly actually, with the 14 day, and they're going to be live streaming later on at uh, 10.30, so I shall see you then for that one, maybe. Uh, but for Germany Friday for this week, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.